When you're building a voice assistant, one of the things you need to do before you deploy it into the world and let it start speaking to customers and users is actually test it to see that it's doing exactly the thing you want to do and that it's relaying all that information correctly. So we're just going to do a quick walkthrough of how you test it and to check that that is all happening correctly in a way that you want it to be communicating. So we've got an inbound recruiter slash applicant follow-up agent here and he has one purpose to check that the information that a candidate has submitted on a form is correct and then try and book a call into the calendar of a consultant now Synfo makes it pretty easy we have our configuration tab here and in our prompt we have several different variables coming in from the form so it's going to be first name city current employer, current salary, notice period, desired work arrangement, desired job title and desired salary. Now our assistant is just going to place a quick call just to check that information is correct. On the right hand side here, you can select a phone number that you have through Twilio that you want to use to make the call. You're going to give it a name, the name of our call caller, give it a phone number and then complete these variables with some dummy information. Now we're going to give it my first name, city, current employer, current salary, notice period, etc. And then once you're happy, you're just going to press call me. Now we're going to get a call through to our phone. We're just going to go through it as it was a real conversation. And then we're going to listen to the feedback and see if everything was correct. Hello. Hi, this is Drew from Epic Recruitment. Is this Tom? It is, yes. Thanks for submitting the form on the site. I'm just going to confirm a few details if that's okay with you. Sounds good. Great. I've got here that you're based in Palma, currently working for Synthflow on 750000 with a four-week notice period. And you're looking for a remote digital arms dealer role paying $10 million. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Awesome. Is there any additional information about your skills, experience, or preferences that wasn't captured in the form but you'd like us to know? Um, no. That's it. Thank you. Good. I'd like to book a call between you and one of our recruiters. When would be a good time for you? How about Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday this week? Um, Tuesday would be good. How about Tuesday at either 9.30 a.m. or 12.30 p.m.? Which one works better for you? 12.30 p.m. would be perfect. Please wait a moment while I book your meeting. Your appointment is set for Tuesday at 12.30 p.m. Good. With the details, including a link to join the meeting. If you need to reschedule, please use the link in your email. Thank you for your time today, Tom. We'll be in touch soon with any relevant positions that match your profile. Have a great day. Thanks. See ya. Okay, so that sounded like it went pretty well. We can now review things inside of Synthflow by looking at things like the transcript. We can just have a quick scroll through. We can listen back to the recording once it's uploaded and made available here. And then we can look at the action that got completed. We saw we actually booked a callback into our cal.com calendar here. And you can see that this return successful. It checked that the it checked the calendar was available. It sent a message and it booked it in that calendar. And the analysis is what we have is like an LLM as judge. So it checks through the call to see if everything was handled appropriately. Now, the information that it read through that we completed it with, that was also correct. It read the numbers correctly. The 750,000 fictitious salary, the 10 million desired salary, which is a big ask, and also the job title and the location. So that was all good. And then you can go ahead and check any of your actions to make sure that that booking came through. So that's a very simple way to test out your assistant without, in fact, having to leave Synthflow before you go and deploy it into the real world. So hope you enjoyed the simple lesson. We're going to get more into more in depth on testing custom actions later on in another lesson, but that's how you do it.
in a simple way.